Good afternoon and happy Labor Day to all of my fellow pain warriors. It is September 2nd and that means that we are officially two days in to the Pain Awareness Month for September. I wanted to say thank you for all of the emails. I've already received a few uh, regarding pain awareness with kind words about the organization and our efforts and your emails are greatly appreciated. So uh, anytime you feel like giving us praise, by all means, please go ahead and feel free to send us a message. So yesterday was day one, and just reading off of the 30-day challenge that we created, in a way, just to let everybody know, it is not mandatory that you complete every single task for the 30 days, although some people have said that they are taking the pledge and they're going to do their best to complete all of them. I'm included in that list of pledges and I think what I'll do is I missed yesterday just because it was a Sunday and I just didn't get a chance to do it so um, depending on what the activity is or task I'm going to try and make a video every single day just to update people about the challenge that I took for that day and um, any issues that I had in completing it and just sharing my overall thoughts for the month of September. So yesterday was day one and the task for day one on the challenge is to change your profile picture on Facebook page, um, on your Twitter account, Tumblr, whatever you have, uh, to a logo that we designed for September. That logo can be found on the U.S. Pain Foundation's main website. If you look on the home page, you'll see that it says September is Pain Awareness Month. There is a link that you can click on and it will take you to another page that will have two logos, one for your profile picture which says um, September's Pain Awareness Month and the other one which says U.S. Pain Ambassador. Now for members and volunteers, if you are interested in having your cover photo for Facebook, which is the long background, if you're interested in having that part be um, something catered towards you because you're not an ambassador, I can certainly create a really quick logo for you to post for the entire month of September. So yesterday evening I changed my profile picture on Facebook to September's Pain Awareness Month as my profile picture. The cover photo says U.S. Pain Foundation Ambassador with the tie-dye background. And then what I did is I shared it on the Ambassador page and on the U.S. Pain Foundation page. And I also shared that photo with my family and friends with a little message just letting them know that September's Pain Awareness Month and whether they are honoring a loved one, a neighbor, a family, friend, sister, daughter, um, anybody that they know and care about, they could change their picture to the profile picture recognizing September as Pain Awareness Month just to let their friends and family know what September is about and hopefully we can get as many people on Facebook and Twitter to change their profile picture even if it's just for one day, that's still going to have um, a huge impact to the friends and family members of that individual who changed their picture because they're going to start asking, what is Pain Awareness Month? And that can start a conversation about U.S. Pain Foundation and, and what it is that we do. So um, I shared that last night on my personal page, and I think I shared it as well on the foundation's Facebook page. If not, I will go do that and then you can do the same, just share it, you copy and paste it, whatever you wanna do. So, today is day two. Day two is wear white and blue. So, I'm wearing blue. I have a white tank top underneath, you can't see it. I was going to wear a US Pain Foundation polo shirt that I was so graciously given when I attended the Education uh, Summit and Family Day back in April, but it's in the laundry because I have an event that I'm doing tomorrow in New Jersey and I wanted to make sure that I didn't get it dirty today because it is mostly white and I am prone to getting, you know, hurt and stains on things and so it wasn't going to work out. So I wore blue. Um, white and blue is the original uh, foundation colors for U.S. Pain. We are obviously transitioning, as you can see, with our bracelets to tie-dye, which is pretty awesome. And the tie-dye represents all the different types of diseases, conditions, injuries, and syndromes that exist 
in the world along with the many different forms of pain that exist to show that no one type is alike, that everyone is different, but we're all able to come together um, under this organization and do great things. So I've decided to wear, uh, I have three of my Pain Warrior bracelets on today. And uh, that was another thing that you could do for day two is to wear your bracelet either for today or to tell yourself that you're going to wear that bracelet every single day for the entire month of September. I wear my bracelet every day. Um, I think I may have taken it off for my friend's wedding, um, but otherwise I wear it every single day. It's easy. The new ones come uh, a lot bigger in size, which is great because we were having um, a couple issues there, especially people with chronic pain. It's really hard and difficult to wear jewelry, and not that this is jewelry, but you don't have to worry about um, a clamp or a hook or anything. You just slide it right on and we're in business, you're good to go. So that is day two, is to wear white and blue or to wear a tie-dye shirt. The first two days are really simple. Um, the goal of this challenge is to create little activities and tasks, projects that are easy and not difficult for somebody in pain to do. And I wanted to prove that the 30-day challenge is obtainable and that it is feasible for someone who lives with chronic pain on a daily basis. Um, if for you that don't know, US Pain Foundation is an organization created by people with pain for people with pain. And I do have chronic pain as well and wanted to let everyone know that these are really simple daily tasks that will in the end make a huge difference and they're great conversational starters when someone says, hey, I see that you're doing something on Facebook. Today you're wearing tie-dye or today you said you wrote a letter to the editor. What was that about? And even if you just want to put your status, you know, I'm taking the U.S. Pain Foundation 30-day challenge, people are going to want to know what that's about and um, you can get them excited. I'm excited just talking about it and strike up the conversation there and the goals really um, we have a few of them for the month of September. Obviously, raise awareness about the millions of people that live with chronic pain on a daily basis. Uh, let people know that U.S. Pain Foundation does exist because we are an incredible resource for people. Um, we have an incredible network of our pain ambassadors who are more than willing to go above and beyond the call of duty and to empower one another through the proclamations, which I just have to say, the numbers continue to rise with the amount of states and local governments that are approving the state proclamations for Pain Awareness Month. And I thank you and applaud you for that. You can look on the U.S. Pain Foundation's website on the home page. When you click on that link to take you to September Pain Awareness Month, you can click on all the different um, little hyperlinks that shows you all of the proclamations that have been approved so far. Some are still on their way. They're in the mail, but we have been notified that they were approved. So that is great news. And I hope that we continue to get more states and local governments on board as the month continues. So what's in store for tomorrow, day three? What would you do if you lived pain-free? So the goal is to write a few ideas, activities, or career goals then modify one or several to fit your new normal. Set yourself a goal and you can share it with us through email. You can post it on the ambassador only website. You can post it on the ambassador Facebook page. Um, anything, any way that you want to do it. Just even um, on your own Facebook page so your family and friends know what it is that you would like to do if you weren't in pain and then see if you can modify it. I already have one in mind. I'm not going to spoil it. I will save it until I do my next video, either tomorrow or Wednesday, because I'll be in New Jersey. But I'm going to try and record maybe later on in the evening um, after I attend a meeting at the Somerset County Library. So I think that's about it for now. The challenge is in full swing. Also, I just wanted to let you all know that the September Ambassador of the Month has been selected. That is Robert or Bob Joseph of Connecticut. And the newsletter is completed. So pay attention to your emails and look on the Facebook page. And it will also later be posted on the US Pain Foundation's main website. Take a look, uh, just a few minutes to read a little bit about this incredible pain journey of this gentleman. 
who has gone above and beyond for not only his family, but the education system and now the U.S. Pain Foundation. It's a really great way for us to highlight all of these individuals that are making positive changes on a daily basis so that we get to know one another on a, on a whole completely different level as opposed to just seeing somebody's name attached to an email that I send. So I hope you all have a wonderful Labor Day. Be safe. And if you have any questions about the 30-day challenge or about September being Clean Awareness Month, feel free to send me an email. My email address, of course, is ambassadordirector at gmail.com. And I will check back with you soon. See you later. <laughs>